What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Oh my gosh, we're in Call of the Wild with some early access for the new update and the new DLC. We're going to check out a couple things today. I'm not going to go out and use the new guns. We're not going to do that in this video. I'm going to do that in a separate video. In this one, I want to check out the new Trophy Lodge. We'll go over like the details. The first things first, I want to check out the new Trophy Lodge, kind of walk around it, take a look, look at some of the specifics of it, give my thoughts, how I feel it's going to fit into the game for, you know, both newer players and for experienced players. So let's go do that. So basically we open up our trophy lot. We go to trophy lodges in the menu here and you can see down below, we've now got Leighton Lake trophy cabin in the list with the Sasika Safari and the Spring Creek Manor. It looks like you can only have one of these. You can only have one Leighton Lake trophy cabin. So I've already opened mine. It's right here. Click it, go to lodge. We get this beautiful new loading screen. It's really, really nice. I actually really like this loading screen up in the mountains in Leighton Lakes. It looks pretty sharp. Here we are in the new lodge. Now, I really like the aesthetic of this new lodge. I love the look of it. Maybe my favorite of the three lodges. Um, so I did a little bit of walking around. I've, I've, I've got some thoughts and some feelings about it. So here are the plaques, the little floating names, right? Because we've got fixed species for each plaque. Um, so this one, you can only put a white tail. This one, you can only put a rosy. This one, you can only put a black tail. Um, this is definitely geared more towards newer players. This is like an entry level lodge for someone that probably doesn't have the trophy lodge DLCs. Um, as you can see, moose, right? Euro bison. There's a bunch of plaques in here. There's really not that many plaques throughout this place. Um, it's actually a pretty huge lodge, but, uh, there's a lot of wasted space. Like. A lot of rooms, a lot of bedrooms. There's just as many beds in this lodge as there are places to mount animals. Not quite, that's a joke, but uh, there are like four or five bedrooms, beds where you can rest and change the time. Um, so most of the plaques are in this main room area kind of thing. There aren't really any spots where you can kind of mount anything on the rest of the main floor. We got the, the big, huge kitchen. There's bedrooms and there's bathrooms and such, and there's little storage nooks and crannies. Um, tons of detail. The detail is off the charts. Um, you can't actually access the weapon cache here, but there's some gun racks, cosmetic gun racks and that. And then if you go upstairs, there's a little bit more mounting that you can do upstairs in the lodge. If we go up this way, we've got a mallard, uh, plaque there. And then we've got a spot for a coyote, a red fox and Merriam Turkey. And we've got a spot for black bear there and then a Canada goose. Um, and then a whole bunch of space that, uh, I feel like there could have been some more plaques in here, some more mounts some more of the space could have been used. But like I said, this is meant to be like a starter lodge. I could see myself maybe using this, trying to like, you know, maximize the, put the best things that I could on each, on each trophy or try to fill it up with mellas or something like that. Another thing I did notice is this mount right here. It looks like you can put anything on this one. So I think you can use this one for multi mounts. I think you can put pretty much anything on this one by the looks of it, because I get the list of like everything. When you go to these, you get just your white tail, just your rosies, right? Just your black tail. So, I mean, I guess the upside is you don't have to worry too much about the filtering and sorting, right? The fact that there's no filtering and sorting options, which makes uh, the other trophy lodges a huge pain trying to find what stuff you want to mount where you don't really have to worry about that too much here you get just the the list of each species uh except for on this plaque so that's pretty much it for uh you know for the lodge that's that's my thoughts and feelings i think there could have been more uh more of the room the space here could have been used and utilized for maybe a, a few more uh plaques this is probably going to really encourage and incentivize uh the players that start to use this as like their first ever lodge to maybe get one of the DLCs where they can put anything anywhere they want and get creative. Um, I don't really know what the thought process was behind fixing them other than maybe making it, you know, making it really straightforward, making it easy for new players, maybe younger players to kind of figure out how the lodge works and then they can move to a DLC lodge if they want to. Um, the other thing I want to talk about is all the Euro mounts everywhere. There are Euro mounts all over this lodge and don't get me wrong, Call of the Wild, they know, they know how badly a large chunk of the community wants the skull mounts, the European mounts. So it may makes me wonder, is this a little bit of a tease? Um, they are all over the place. There's more up here. There's a couple more here. And uh, yeah, the Euro mounts are kind of spread out. So it makes me wonder if maybe they're teasing us. Maybe it's a little bit of a hint to maybe some Euro mounts coming to the game in the future. I know a lot of you guys would really like that. I would really like that if they added that. Uh, it would add another layer of depth 
to the lodges. I know a lot of people would, would love to use them and have Euro mounts in the lodges. So speculation, a little bit of speculation, but uh, they know, you know, they know what they're doing by putting those in there. They know a lot of people are going to wonder if maybe that's a little bit of a hint or a tease in the direction of maybe adding Euro mounts someday to the game. Listen, guys, OK, so I don't know how I'm going to put this into the video I recorded earlier. I recorded a video earlier, uh, the Trophy Lodge video talking about the, the Trophy Lodge, the new Trophy Lodge, the video that you're currently watching. Uh, but upon editing that video after recording it, something has been brought to my attention, something that uh, I noticed and something that was not, I don't think it was ever announced. I don't think Jaxi ever showed this in any of the streams. Guys, there's a new multi-mount that's being added with this update, um, which I, like I said, I don't think this was announced. I don't know if it was, if it's in the patch notes or if the patch notes have even, even been released at this point. Uh, my brain is just absolute mush at this point, but there's a new friggin' multi-mount in this early access, you guys. And you guys might remember, I made a video talking about the possibility of Euro Bison, European Bison being the next great one in the hunter called wild and we all know that when we get a new great one usually leading up to it sometimes at the same time or in the case of the black bear we got a new multi-mount for black bear kind of randomly before that great one came out and believe it or not you guys we have a new multi-mount and that multi-mount features two male euro bison and here it is right here I don't know why this wasn't announced. Maybe it was. If it was and I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. This is absolutely insane. This is so out of left field. It's so hard to not imagine that this is a, a direct indicator to European Bison being the next great one. It's super early to add this. It's March right now. Um, so we're about three months away from a new map. If the new map is coming in June, like it usually does. Uh, lately, we've been getting great ones simultaneously with new maps. The last two maps have had a simultaneous release of a new great one. So uh, essentially, technically, uh, we should be a few months away from a new great one. But all of a sudden, there's this new European Bison multi-mount that has come with this update. It was never talked about, I don't think. I don't remember Jax ever talking about it. I don't remember ever hearing about it with this update. But uh, upon looking in the multi-mounts, in Matt Matt's, Matt Matt's trophy mounts, there's a new multi-mount and it's two male Euro Bison. <laughs> so, I mean... <sighs> Like, I don't, not, like, obviously nothing is confirmed. I haven't even, I've only talked to Scarecrow about this. Um, I don't know have, if the other people with the early access have even noticed this or if it's something that's even been mentioned to anybody. But it's here. Uh, there's a European Bison multi-mount. Um, how could this not be, how could this just be something random that isn't uh, directly pointing to a European Bison great, great one? What else would this be? So... I, I don't know why they've done this so early. I don't know, you know, like this is pretty obvious. If you're if you're Bison are the next great one, this is kind of this kind of like proves it. I remember there was already speculation when the Black Bear uh, great one came out before that came out. Some people were speculating that. Some people were thinking it was gonna be a moose, but people were starting to think maybe a bear. And then as soon as that bear multi mount came out before the great one, people were like, okay, it's like obvious. And I was one of those people. I was like, why else would there be just a totally random? black bear great one it got released with rev on Tule coast that didn't even you know a map that didn't even have black bear on it rev on Tule coast had brown bear but it was released with a black bear multi-mount uh, that's kind of what i'm feeling with this i don't know why else there would just be this one random new multi-mount uh with just a couple male euro bison um but like i said it's not confirmed obviously this doesn't confirm anything but it's it's all but confirmed at this point let me know what you guys think here it is i'll look at some of the poses with you guys um and show you guys how it looks and that's it a couple of euro bison on a multi-mount crazy super random but how random but is it random how random is it um for me this is a pretty obvious indicator that uh, Euro Bison are probably going to be the next great one. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, but anyways, that's going to do it for this video. Little surprise ending here. I wasn't expecting to have this in this video. I didn't find out about it until after I already recorded the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. 50,000 subscribers is on the way, you guys. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think about this mount. What do you guys think about the, the Euro mounts? Do you think it's teasing us? Maybe we've got Euro mounts coming, right? Skull mounts. What are you guys most excited for with this update? Is it the update? Is it the 
Trophy Lodge? Is it the loadouts? Is it the DLC with the new guns? Let me know down below. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one.